talked about green transition, energy transition. The plan also talks about AI and smart, uh, smart tech industrial sectors. Talk to me a little bit about the role of foreign investment that you see in all of this, and particularly how you're going to weigh partnerships with the US, partnerships with China. I'm sure you anticipated this question, and I'm sure you have an answer. No, Malaysia in 90s, the 90s did relatively well because we are a trading nation. We, we worked through FTAs and um, we were able to uh, attract uh, investments, particularly in the United States. The United States was the leading investor in the country. Even today, when we have uh, uh, improved trade and more investment from China, but the total investments into Malaysia today is still from the United States. And we have uh, benefited immensely because United States companies, um, though tough negotiations, um, but in terms of training, in terms of transfer technology, we, uh, I mentioned Dell this morning, for example, in terms of research center, other than in California, it is in Malaysia, the largest uh, training and research outfit outside of the United States. So we cannot do, I mean, uh, affect change and uh, propel the economy without uh, attracting investments. Of course, by, by, by suggesting attracting investments, which means that we have to make the necessary adjustments, the incentives and the ease of doing business um, uh, and, and facing fierce competition from our neighbors, we need to do uh, uh, surpass that. Um, and and uh, I think reasonably we, we, we are rather successful, in many ways more successful, because um, when uh, Tesla decided to move in and uh, AWS, um, Amazon, has come in with huge investments, um, you know, and um, even in Europe, Infineon, with 5 billion euros, all are recent decisions which uh, is required for this country. Now, how do you balance this with China? To us, it is not um, um, uh, uh, well, it's not a zero sum game as far as we see it from, from the perspective of a small developing country. Uh, China happens to be a neighbor, a close neighbor, and the largest investor into Malaysia, and uh, huge trading within Malaysia. United States have been a very loyal, uh, traditional uh, friend. We share many common values in terms of democracy, human rights, and uh, and, and me personally, as I've said well this morning, all the uh, administrations uh, from Clinton to Bush, they've been very uh, supportive and, and uh, outspoken in terms of defend my, defending my, my the period of my tribulations. So I, of course, and I'm too many friends, the Senate, the Congress, the administration, and of course, the very distinct tanks, and of course, CFR. So I, I, we, we need to then utilize this to the benefit of our country. 